Hey, so I made a video in a little bit. I wanted to make a new one about population density and a, um, emergency scenarios. So recently I went to a Metallica concert in Chicago. It was really awesome, really good. Um, spent the weekend there. Um, lots of stuff to do, especially if you have the money. It's great. But um, also a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people. Um, there's about 2.6 million people in just the Chicago area. Uh, that's not including the metropolitan area, which is probably about the same amount of population. Uh, Illinois' population is approximately 11 to 12 million, depending. The soldier fills capacity 61.5 thousand people. And that's not including uh, technicians, vendors, etc. So maybe a few more thousand on top of that. I don't know. But one thing I noticed was, and this is my poorly drawn map of the uh, central Midwest, right? This is Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky. A really badly drawn Missouri. I, I'm sorry, guys. It's just horrible. Iowa, eh, about the same. Anyways, so this large metropolitan area, and I couldn't help but notice that, like, when we were leaving the concert, that it, it was just packed like sardines, man. Like, shoulder to shoulder. And it was like, a, it reminded you of videos of uh, people leaving, like, war torn Europe uh, to go to other cities during, you know, World War II, of course. But also, it reminded me of like Schindler's List. Like, uh, these people were packed tight together. Uh, you know, there's Ubers, taxis, uh, trans, and all that stuff. And they're just beyond capacity. This was just a concert. Like, uh, even the local Uber guys that took us for a ride were like, this is unusually busy for here, in this area. So they were even a little bit surprised. Um, so this, this is a good example of why. It might be in your best long-term interest to leave the city, if you can afford to do so, to find a job that's at least halfway decent to support the new move. Um, there is no way in hell I would ever live in a major <laughs> metropolitan city like I knew I didn't want to anyways, but after this last weekend, absolutely not. Uh, we, we took the train up, and that was a lot cheaper. And then we Uber, so I didn't have to drive. But these guys, like race car drivers, like they put NASCAR to shame. Um, and that's another thing: the, the aggressiveness. There's a lot of uh, tension and aggressiveness in a city. And today, this is the uh, I'm sorry, the 12th of August. Here, the next week or so, we're gonna have the Democratic National Convention. We're gonna, we're gonna have an influx of people again coming in. The airports, trains travel, usual suspects, um, that kind of thing. On top of that is a political charge. This was just like an exciting, invigorating metal concert, you know, fun uh, attitude, right? Um, and if you're native of that area, you're going to be a little more assertive and aggressive. And if you're more like out of town, you're like, oh, wow, look at that. Hi, everybody, how's it going? And, you know, they're looking at you like, uh, back off, <laughs> you know, so... Uh, that's so to consider also is the personality and um, uh, what would you say um, how you encounter people right and sorry about my phone call anyways if these people were to leave in a mass exodus it would be a super shit show this is just one major city uh, they would flood out into Illinois Indiana now actually this section of Indiana here Gary, which is already a post-apocalyptic shithole. Um, so they're going to come through Indiana, maybe even Iowa, because at the top of Illinois here is the most narrow, so it makes sense you want to leave through that area. Uh, then you go through downstate, uh, Springville's kind of shithole, Champaign's becoming one. Um, and then you just go further down. Um, Depending on what time this mass excess event would happen, during the winter, obviously people would not go north to like uh, Wisconsin to Michigan and Minnesota because it's just too damn cold. They might leave from up north to go south. And that's something you can uh, consider also. But say from spring to fall, this is your most likely approach. It's just going to be a, uh, a shell burst of explosion, the population going out. Um, some people try to sell Indiana and 
besides like you know Indy right here in the middle, it's not super interesting enough. Really, the following states are kind of like that. Uh, maybe the exception of St. Louis, which is actually also another major urban center. So, St. Louis roughly here, Indy here, and then uh, Louisville right here, and then uh, I think like up here in another major city, Springfield. So, I mean, you have a lot of potentiality for movement, especially here in the Midwest. Um, I grew up in the South too, but mostly the last several decades of those here. And just, there's going to be a lot of movement. Um, say there's an interstate that goes through your area, roughly like that. Um, there's going to be a lot of travel. There's going to be a lot of backed up cars. Um, you know, cars have issues where, you know, the battery dies or um, you have a flat, what have you. Um, during a mass exodus event, you'll be, it'll be a miracle if you can get out, change your tire, and, and fix that car to keep moving. That in itself is a miracle. That's probably just not going to happen. Um, so what's the point of this? The point of this is, at any given time, the fact that a mass exodus, exodus hasn't happened, we should be grateful. After seeing uh, Chicago up close and being in it and downtown around all these people, um, most people seem more or less okay, but again, there's this just there, there's this assertiveness you have to have to be a city person to punch your way through the crowds and, and to get where you need to get, and traffic uh, amplifies that. Uh, major like sporting events and concerts and such, same way, and this political rally comes up, who knows what's going to happen, but um, if you are living in a, uh, a suburban metro area please generally consider uh leaving if you're able to if you have the opportunity to do so when this stuff pops off however it pops off however it goes um it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bad time and you're gonna get caught in it and you know, it's like a jurassic park where the uh, the mosquito gets caught in the amber flow you're trapped in that like, you're done so, and also bridges, boats, ferries, airports, some of them was leaving, but unless they land in, like, say, like a rural regional airport, they're landing in another city that may or may not be having a mass exodus event also take place. So, c consider that also. I, I guess the, the long and short of it is, um, consider moving, right, but having a good job to move to to support yourself in your new location as well. Um, I just like the worst historical things in my head were playing in my mind as we're leaving. It took us like four blocks in an hour to where even the crowd started to thin out, where you could actually catch an Uber or something like that. It was really insane, and uh, that's that's going to be a major danger um, if you're in the cities. And, you know, some people always take advantage of a crisis. Arson, uh, looting, rioting, um, mass casualty events, that kind of thing. You're, you know, they're going to close the roads to your city, right? They're going to stop people from leaving and there's going to be checkpoints. So you're trapped there. Unless you have, I don't know, maybe like a boat to leave or something, or maybe we get on an airplane, or maybe get lucky with the train, maybe not because it's going to be crowded. Union Station is huge, but uh, there's you know certain capacity. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you want to watch a good kind of like uh, what that would look like, um, look into War of the Worlds, the original 1930s, to see the people gathered in churches and, and buildings, and that's what it would look like. And there's even, of course, more of the population now. So I don't know, just food for thought, guys. Um, you know, I'm always looking for opportunity to learn and um, and to think about. You know, the kind of life that we live and it, it makes you stop and think you should be a constant student for the rest of your life as far as this goes oh also um i'll be getting the uh, citizens manual uh, the citizens defense manual to review and i have to actually go pick it up to read and um i'll be coming back with uh, my thoughts and all that
on that. And that, I keep saying that. Anyways, uh, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. And hope the rest of your week goes pretty good. Bye, guys.